it's not good for it. Right, okay, so let's let's get started on this. So we are running a single player Hearts of Iron campaign. I'm going to start it again from scratch. 1st of January, 1936, uh, playing as the United Kingdom. Let's jump straight in. We're on Iron Man and historical AI focuses so we can refight World War II as the British. Uh, let's go. I've never finished. I don't think I've finished the war as playing as Britain myself before. I played in a co-op game where my, my partner was playing as Britain. Um, but I don't think I've finished the game as Britain before, so let's jump in. So there's a little bit of housekeeping to do at the start, which we will run through as quick as we can. Let's just get all the Navy, everything grouped up into one place. By the way, if anyone knows a quicker way of selecting everything, do let me know. I'm just holding down Shift and accessing them there. Let's, let's bring them up to here. This will do. And we'll see what doesn't turn up and then sort that out near the end. Hey, Captain Mercado, nice to see you again. You live near Seattle, so the virus is causing so much grief. It, it came to, or I don't know if it came to America on the West Coast, but it seems to have hit there quite hard from, compared to everywhere else from what I understand in the news. Can you play Switzerland in this? You can. Um, I have no idea what the game would turn out like. As the AI, I've never seen Switzerland get involved in a fight in historical focus, but that would be correct, historically. Right, let's pick some... Let's get rid of my uh, rather poor flight groups to start with. None of them have any experience, so all I'm going to do is just disband them all. The plane's going to storage, and we shall rebuild those fellows when we want them and where we want them. Um, Air-wise, obviously we're going to develop the uh, single-engine fighters. I like heavy fighters as well, because they do have uses. People say, oh, but they're not as good as single-engine fighters. And not in all circumstances, but they are very good in regions like the Pacific, because they've got longer range, and the air bases are fewer and far between out there. And the same applies to tactical bombers. Rather than, like, just naval bombers and stuff, because I, I, I find uses for all these things. Plus, I just like the idea of making use of a little bit of everything. I don't go, like, the power play mode like uh, a lot of people do. Just building one type of extremely powerful division, one template. I like to kind of make it feel like I'm playing uh, a historical war game with a bit of variety in there. These are all fighters. These are all fighters now, so that's good. We'll, uh, we'll make um, theatres as we go. Oops, I need to be in that. As we go, I think. Let's just get all this army in together. And bring them down to... Somewhere down here, I think. You've got no idea what I'm doing? I'm just setting the game up. At the, the game starts, you've got units all over the place and navies all over the place. It'll kind of make sense as we go along. I need the Eye of the Tiger. Should have Eye of the Tiger playing. <laughs> I would love to have music like that playing if, if I wasn't putting this on YouTube. Unfortunately, that all becomes a big no. Uh, where else? <clears throat> where else have we got loads of forces? We've got some stuff in North Africa, which will become... Ready, will become the 8th Army at some point. Let's form that into an army there. Uh, actually, we'll do this straight away. Can I not... Um, can I not select new... Oh, it's because I've only got one. That's fine, then. We'll do that now, whilst we've got them selected. And there'll be loads of units out east. We'll we'll work through them as we start time ticking over. Uh, these lot are all moving. Let's do that. So let's get some research going. We'll just research our industry. That was to research better to start with. Build stuff a bit faster. And we'll develop some big guns and stuff fairly soon, I think. Almost all the coronavirus deaths in the US are in Seattle. Oh, that's that's not good. Not good at all. Sorry to hear that. You played in earlier Hearts of Iron. Brazil was fun. I've never played as any of the South American countries in this. Uh, I've kind of been tempted to, because they seem to get left alone altogether in these uh, historical games. What do I want to do? Oh, do I want to start a land doctrine? Yes, let's switch this over. This one's surprisingly quick to train, so let's let's go with that. We've got civilian factories. 
Civilian factories, for those who don't know, are used for building infrastructure and, well, building any other structure of, of all types. We can build forts. or oh, seaports. Seaports. I want that increasing up. <clears throat> A lot of people may wonder why am I building level 10 base when we've got two sea bases and when we've got two over here. It's because if I ever want to turn off convoys traveling or taking supplies through the English Channel because there's too many German subs about, I can reroute them through Bristol, which gets them nicely out of the way. And of course, you can only transport as many supplies through a base as the base's level will allow. So we do that. We'll have a few dockyards to get the Navy going. Basically the same, same start as we, we tried the other day. So we'll open with that. Uh, forts and stuff I don't think I need to worry about just yet. And we shall get some military factories on the go as well. Let's put five in Yorkshire and five in Lancashire. And that should do. Speaking of military factories, we'll have artillery and guns to start with and a bit of support equipment. We'll trash the light tanks. I don't need to make any of these crap fighters either. We'll get rid of those. We'll get some trucks going. We've got trucks? What are they under? Do we not have trucks? Oh, yes, we do. They're there. Just a few in reserve. We will be needing lots of those. How long did it take to get to know this game? There are so many buttons. It took a long time. It took me three and a half hours of watching Quill 18's excellent tutorial series for beginners. I'd highly recommend that. Um, Quill 18, great streamer, big YouTuber. Go and look him up. He's done, a, he's, he's done a tutorial series, which unlike all other tutorials on this game, assume you don't know what you're doing and you are new to the game. Whereas all the other tutorials seem to assume that you know exactly how it works and what the best formations and divisions and everything else are. Hopeless. So Quill 18, definitely worth a look. And then after that, it's, it's taken about 60 hours of playing because you still find out new stuff. I'm still learning new stuff about it. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Yorkshire is God's own country. <laughs> it's good, is that? Good place is Yorkshire. Although I might be a little biased. Have I still got factories? I've still got spare factories. Don't really need anti. I'm going to go with just more infantry. Oh, no, I don't need an extra one. Bin that. Don't need extra ones. We'll just add that into the top one. Although you can, you can build extra ones. You can have different levels of. Can you have different levels of infantry equipment? I don't know. But anyway, national focus. We'll go with steady. As go. No, we won't. We'll go. We'll go over here. There's one that gives me extra civilian factories. Take that. Uh, and let's 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 get some stuff going on. Move some time up. And while that's advancing, we can get other stuff. Going. We shall recruit some divisions, I think. Defend Yorkshire at all costs. Save the whippets. Yes, save the whippets. Uh, let's do a few of these. I'll just add in... Those divisions are still coming down. We'll probably want... We could start with 10, I think. We will need them. We will definitely need them. Let's train these guys in Liverpool. So this is my... This is my UK army. Come on. Let's form those guys into an army. I'll just put that as UK at the moment. This just help. This doesn't mean anything. The different theatres. It's just purely a way of of keeping things organised, so you can find stuff when you want them. I'm back, guys. Hi, welcome, welcome back. Is this a coronavirus mod? That would be interesting. Speaking of uh, such a thing, actually, have you guys played Plague Inc? It's basically where I think this is the right one I'm thinking of. You have to develop a um, a virus that or a bacteria that uh, destroys humanity. It's an interesting concept for a game. Oh, convoys. Let's get convoys. We will definitely need lots of those. We will lose a lot of those to subs and other things. Stick that in high priority. We'll get three of those going. Meanwhile, we'll try and get. Uh, these finished as fast as possible as more dockyards come online. Let that go. Is that the board game? Plaguing? No, it's a PC game. You can check it out on Steam. I think it's true. Uh, sorry, Finsan, what's that? Arts of Iron is full of uh, details and little things. It's full of a lot of details, a lot of stuff. King George has died. Poor old King George.
You reckon I'll conquer the world with the eye of the tiger? I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all night now. <laughs> Thanks for that, Waverly. Isn't that that game, Plague Inc., isn't that banned in China at the moment? Didn't they ban it? There was, there was one game uh, that they banned. I think it was that one, you know. All right, let's add this. Let's make another. We'll call this Med Garrisons from Mediterranean. And there's that one. Order. These guys can join into it. And put that in the North Africa section. Um, we've got some second rate. Well, not second Order. rate, but these. When they've got these little red arrows, it means these are classed as. Um, non-priority divisions for receiving reinforcements and new equipment so they're quite handy you can set any division you want like that any type of division and it's quite handy for stuff that you don't expect to see a lot of combat stuff that's just like garrisoning towns and ports and things plague Inc. was banned in britain was it it was an interesting game i, I remember seeing jingles play it and I thought, I like the concept, but I, then I don't feel happy with uh, trying to wipe out humanity myself. It feels a bit like self-destruction. Right, that's what, let's join all those into one big fleet. We've got one reserve one there. What's that? Light cruiser. And we shall start separating these out. Let's get all the submarines. Learn a new theatre, and we'll just call that subs. These will be like early pre-war subs and things, which aren't... They're not bad, but they don't have a lot of range, which is the main issue with them. You see, all these can be refitted. I'm not going to bother that with that. Every single one is so old, it can be refitted to a new model. Um, that'll take up all my dockyards to do, and we'll still be doing that when the war starts, so let's not worry about that. Do the different colours from the countries mean something? Yeah, they uh, basically pink is the colour of the United Kingdom's lands. Switzerland's red-ish. And it's, it's just basically to outline where the borders are and, and who controls what. Uh, it can be a bit confusing between some. The remilitarization of the Rhineland. France has objected. We will object as well. We'll do nothing. Yeah, because you see how France, Greece, and if we swing across here, United States is all like some shade of blue, so sometimes they're a bit confusing, but they, they, they tend not to be on opposite sides, so uh, it's not too big a deal. So we've got the limited rearmament. That's good. Then I'll get some political points going, I think. See, Britain's got a huge amount of focuses. Uh, if I go over this side, this is where you can change your country's thinking and go, I think you can go, yeah, you can go communist down here or fascist, um, but we're going to not do all that and <laughs> we're just going to go with a, a, a fairly close to historical focus i think yeah you'll see like germany um you'll see most of europe turn black at some point as the germans expand so it's just a uh at the moment this this oh hang on and there's a soviet union which is massive when you look at it on a map like this i mean look india's massive soviet union just dwarfs everything but like, the vast majority of this is empty wilderness. For all intents and purposes here, anyway. So where have we got? Uh, we're just doing our symbols and colours. We're going to go yellow submarine, like the great man Ringo Starr sang about. For the subs. I don't know why the sub symbol was an aircraft. Nothing to do with me. Change that. Let's base them in Belfast. And put them, when they get there, we'll put them on training. Yeah, Germany's reoccupied the Rhineland. Nothing too drastic, nothing too terrible, but keep an eye on that. Being based in Gibraltar must have been weird during World War II. I guess I think, especially early on, they were probably worried that the Spanish would would join the Axis. Um, you sh if you're interested in that, w there's some episodes about Spain on the World War II channel where they talk about Hitler's attempts to, to get... Was it Castro? No, it wasn't Castro. It was, it was in charge of Franco, in charge of Spain at the time, to join the Axis. And actually, one of Hitler's own diplomats was actually working against Hitler to, to try and keep the Spanish out of it. Uh, it's quite interesting. I didn't know any about this at all. 
So yeah, that was that's some cool stuff. I love what you can learn on the internet. You have to be very careful and double check everything. Um, but uh, there's a lot of bullshit spoken as well. But I do love it as a learning uh, place. Yeah, so I guess based in Gibraltar, the, the British would be having one eye north all the time as well. I heard a little noise like a message coming in. Political options. Yeah, we won't worry about those right now. It might be the Dutch trade things. I don't think I'm going to worry about spending political points trying to persuade the Dutch to trade with me because I think that the Germans are just going to invade the Netherlands anyway. Uh, Spanish Civil Wars kicked off, as always. Yep, let's see where that goes. So I got my sub-fleet on training exercises. You can see they're gradually gaining experience and having crashes <laughs> at the same time. Can I prevent Germany from invading you? Probably not. It's quite hard for Britain to do anything at the start. We've, we've got a lot of, a lot of work to do. Uh, a lot of guns to make before we can even raise some soldiers. Steady as she goes. Excellent. That gives us enough... Oh, it doesn't. I thought that was the one that gave us political power. No, it doesn't. We're going to go with the global defence again. Which builds a few naval bases and coastal forts in our territories. I've got to say... I'm going through the, the Netherlands Twitch ingest server here and I have not dropped a single frame. So I think we found the problem. Some link between uh, Twitch's UK server and maybe the French one as well in Paris. But nothing wrong with Amsterdam. I don't know what the ping is. I don't know if there's much delay. No point asking you. You can't tell anyway, can you? You watch the uh, World War II Channel 2? Captain Mikado? It's, I, I love it. There's some good stuff on there. Why not just ally myself with Germany? Where would the fun in that be? Where would the fun in that be? We want to be able to kick old Herman the German's ass in this game. That's what we're doing. What have we got over there? Accidents from training. One. Two of my captains have managed to ram a sub. Ram their subs together. Geniuses they are. What have we got? We've got unassigned divisions. Oh yeah, we've got this. Uh, we're gonna have this West Africa force. I've got about three, four divisions there. They'll be they'll be weakish troops. Orders. I suspect. Uh, put them in North Africa for now. Looks like the, yeah, the Italians there. They've gone to war with Ethiopia. I've got four divisions to try and hold that entire border, which is probably about a thousand miles or something. I'd have guess. So, what are you guys up to this weekend? Have you got anything interesting and exciting going on? I'm still waiting for some new, some cool games to come out. There's nothing that's really taken my eye for a bit. I mean, I've still got stuff to play, but I always like looking for new stuff too. Let's get some uh, industry research. Get these factories kicking stuff out a bit faster. So the plan is, I mean, we're, we're playing this with complete benefit of hindsight, so we know what's going to happen. Uh, the plan is to not get entangled up in the fight for France, because you can slow the German advance down, but then it becomes really hard to disentangle your troops and get them out without losing a load. I have tried it twice. I have done badly twice, especially when if France capitulates and suddenly all their armies, it's as if they've just vanished. Uh, then it's tough. But we are going to position troops to very quickly take advantage of the Italians, maybe here and definitely in North Africa. Is there a lot of historical accuracy? Uh, there is in the details and stuff you can do. Hang on, are we... I'm not... I'm on pause. I was waiting for my political points to do up. Yeah, there's loads of good stuff. I mean, there's loads of political decisions I can take as the UK, uh, which later on we might take a look at. Like, there's one where I can occupy Iceland. Uh, I think it's after Denmark falls. I mean, they did historical, historically. And they actually, they called it occupying. It was essentially an invasion of Iceland, and it was to stop the Germans using the ports there as naval bases in the Atlantic. Um... 
yeah, the, the, if you just watch this play, it it w might not necessarily turn out exactly as the war went, but a lot of the decisions that each country made would kick off, because I've got the historical focus set on, but you can turn that off, Hagman, in and play it. So all sorts of random stuff happens, like uh, the USA can have a civil war, go fascist, go communist, I think. I, I think you can do that. Um, the countries can break away from the UK. The Netherlands can ally with Germany. There's all sorts of weird things. There's loads of possibilities. You're just doing social distancing this weekend. Don't blame you. You want to play as Switzerland? Play as Switzerland. See if you can take over Europe. That would be cool. And whose side would you do it on, though? Right, so we must have more ships coming ready, which is great news. Uh, let's, let's start getting these extra cruisers done. So what I'm doing is I'm assigning dockyards to these things, even though there's none available. But you see, this one's got 10 dockyards working on it, so as soon as that's finished, or I've built more dockyards, they'll automatically assign to this and spill over into this, and it just gets things done faster. Um, and eventually we'll get caught up with everything there. And I do want some new stuff doing as well. We've got an opportunity now to modify the government. Uh, I don't... Can I? I can go to early mobilization, but there's a big penalty if anything knocks our war support down and I'm in that state. So I might just hold that back a little while. Yeah, if you played in Switzerland and didn't help the Germans, you might find yourself <coughs> uh, living in an expanded Germany pretty quickly. Who should we add in? Political advisors? Yes, actually we will. There's an industrialist, isn't there? Military factory and dockyards. Let's go for that fella. Helps get them built faster. There's, there's loads of good options for adding like uh, military staff and chief of the air force and loads of good stuff in here. And loads of different ways of playing it. And there's, you know, there's not necessarily any right or wrong way. Just different. And I love that in games. How's our Navy doing? How's, oh, there it is. Oh, we've all gone up a level. Trained. You can go and repair. You can go and repair. We don't want any sinking. Communist UK. So we have the option to skip a few decades and get straight to the 1980s. Uh, this game does go on. The latest I've seen it finish was in about 1968, I think. My first playthrough finished in 1968. I'd been playing as France. And finally, me and the United States managed to invade Japan and put an end to it in 68. It was a long war. But good fun. Why is there an... Is that a... There's a naval combat going on here. Who the hell is getting involved with that? I wonder. I think we can speed this up now. Excellent. Construction coming on. Oh, I want to... Yes, I need... 36 destroyers as soon as possible. So these are going to be my escort ships until we've got these researched. We'll get some better depth charge throwers and the extra sonars. We'll get those going. I must save the world. I'm going to try my best. Treaty of Addis Ababa. Ethiopia was annexed by Italy. I've never seen Italy, uh, sorry, Ethiopia manage to hold off Italy. I don't think it's possible. Edward VIII abdicates. Um, if he'll not change his mind, the king must abdicate. That's about to change his mind about marrying uh, Miss Simpson, isn't it? So we gain base stability 5%, which is quite good for us at the moment. Yeah, I don't know if Ethiopia can resist Italy ever. You could try. You could actually play as Ethiopia. You can play as any of these nations, although some might not be very interesting. King George VI takes over. Hey, Shamrock, how's it going? Oh, uh, Shamrockia, sorry. Are you uh, are you the Shamrock I used to know or uh, a relative of? Or have you just changed your name? Or are you completely new? If, if so, welcome to the channel. <laughs> You've got all the DLC too? Yeah, it's good. There's a few DLC I'm missing. I haven't got the latest one, the La Resistance one. Um, I, I actually want to see some reviews on that before I decide to get it. I probably will, but I will likely wait for a, a sale. Can we develop the industry a bit more yet? I want to do that, but we need to have... I obviously need more world tension. It won't let me go down that at the moment. Um, 
I mean, there's lots of good things. There's lots of good, tasty things to eat. Well, let's do every man will do his... Oh, we lose stability, though, for that. Seem to lose stability for everything. Let's ignore those for a moment, then. Uh, there's always going to be good stuff over here. Like, that gives us extra research for motorized and tanks. If we go down there. It's these that I want. These are the ones that are more urgent, I think. I think I'll go with... Um, reinforce the Empire. Oh, I get 10% stability, so that will offset the penalty from one of those others. Let's do... Let's change that before that takes effect, because I'm... Oh, yeah, no, I am really stable. So let's change that. Uh, and we, we can afford that... Um, that one. Oh, I need to click cancel on that first. And start. There we go. That will be a better way of doing it. You've always been here. It went from Shamrock to... Oh, sad boy Gerald, and now back to Shamrock. I see. I see. It's so hard keeping track of, uh, of usernames and stuff. Uh, especially when people change it. But now I know who you are. Thanks. Superior firepower. This is always nice as well. There's different... For those of you who don't know the game, there's, there's different um, army doctrines and naval and air as well. Uh, you can only have one of the trees. You can change, but it takes a lot of effort to research them out. Like the mass assault one, which is probably uh, modelled after China and Russia and maybe Japan. I don't know which one they use. Grand Battle Plan which I think is a hangover from the First World War, but it's what the British start with. Mobile warfare, which is like Blitzkrieg and stuff. And this, superior firepower, which is just big guns and lots of them, which I quite like. So we'll go... We'll... we'll ah, before I do that, because I... I'm going to need my navy sorted out first before I worry about the land stuff. We'll do that. How are we doing on uh, production? Dockyards going up first. And then military factories. It's a steady business. A steady business. Why not go the Chamberlain route and do complete neutrality? That sounds fun. Sounds like it might be a bit of a quiet playthrough. Okay, so we've got these. I don't want to research things before their time because you get a big penalty. I can see that. 341 days to research r radar because we're two years early in it. It's nice to have. Uh, what do we want? Support companies. Don't need to rush with those. I'll just go for some... I want to do something, though. Oh, let's get some... Yeah, let's get hurricanes and some early planes going. Superior firepower is the US one. I like superior firepower. There's some nice bonuses uh, further down the tree. You seem to remember a certain air battle over the channel where radar could come in useful. I like the way our radar works in this game, actually. Um, it, well, actually, it's some, it, it doesn't just affect the aerial discovery. It can help naval discovery as well, which I suppose is supposed to represent not just literally the uh, type of radar that we think about. I mean, they did have radar on ships as well later on. The Olympic Games has finished. How's my... They're trained! Excellent. All of them? All done. Superb. Superb. See, it's worth training because you do get quite a nice boost to stats from that. I'll turn it off because it uses fuel. Every man will do his duty. Excellent. Now let's do, because we dropped stability for that, reinforce the empire. And stability is important because it, 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 it basically affects output of all sorts of other things like factory output and stuff. So we want to keep that nice and high. Played as one of the Chinese warlords once. I haven't played as Ch any of the Chinese factions at all. I, I imagine there's not much industry to start with or infrastructure. And you've got an aggressive Japan to face. So I imagine it's quite tricky. Let's put a submarine commander in, uh, in here. Who have we got? Basically it wants to be a green water expert, shallow sea. Subs are going to be mostly fighting in shallow seas, I think, because Central Med, what does it say? 
Does it say where it's... Where does it say it's shallow? It does say somewhere. Does it say here? There's, oh, ocean? Is that... I thought it said over here. I'm sure. Adriatic. That looks like it's... English Channel. Shallow Sea. Oh, it does say there. Okay, so that's where I need to look. Uh, well, I suppose... 